Hey everyone, welcome to Alchemy Stars. So we're going to take a look at Barton Death Blades. Before I was, you know, before I tried his kit out, I was thinking, who will he replace? Will he replace Arya eventually? Um, will he replace Yao? Uh, who else? Lenore. So all these detonators that we are looking at for the second detonator spot. But after I was able to test him out, it got me thinking. He could eventually replace Hero, but not in a way that you're thinking. So um, let's first check out my Barton and see you know, how I built him so far. So he is at level 80, obviously at Ascension 3. Breakthrough. He's gonna go through breakthrough guys the the ones that are necessary so of course you get this at start initially i would re i would recommend that you get him another copy because this one uh gains the 20 loan energy at the beginning of each battle this gives him preemptive strike if you don't have this you still have to save up for those 20 loan energy and it would probably take you around one to two rounds so if you want immediate activation of his um, his active skill you definitely need to break through three him okay most importantly um next is going to be increase max hp defense and the last one is active skill enhancement immediately immediately gains five loan energy after using active skill so this adds to his total uh not really a must uh, I think Breakthrough 3 is a must. This one is going to give him more sustained um, more more sustained loan state in a way because of this gain. So let us uh, go back and see. I have him at Affinity 5. I don't have much. Uh, let's go through his skills. Okay, starting off with his equipment skill. Normal attacks can target enemies on a diagonal tile. So it gives him additional attack, which is for me right now, for detonators, I think it's a must. The diagonal tile attack is additional attack for them. And while in the lone state, which we will talk about later um, when we go to the active skill, normal attacks deal damage to one surrounding cluster so this widens his damage non-target tiles receive 40 percent of normal damage so splash damage is the key of this aurorian now um, let's go through um let's skip chain combo and go to active skill so his active skill is a dual blade uh, advent consumes 20 load energy that is why i mentioned a while ago that you have to break through three him at least for you to enjoy him enjoy using him um during the start of the battle when the when entering the battle gains 20 points uh barton death plays gain one point with every normal attack so the breakthrough three g gives him the 20 points and um, for every normal attack gives him additional points to store for the lone state okay to enter lone state in the current round um increasing chain combo range and damage so when you activate the skill it um it increases chain combo damage and the range of his attack is 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 rather longer by a tile so to say when you see the overaction later so at the end of the round if the remaining loan energy uh at the end of the round is no less not less than 10 loan energy will be halved so if it's um, more than 10 it's going to be halved so that is why you keep you have to keep on generating your loan energy for him to do his active skill uh reducing at least at least 10 points and retain loan state in the next round so he provides a lot of buffs for himself a lot of attack opportunities a lot of you know, that blade is pretty much very very long so as you can see long reach for him he reminds me of a character i used in 
in Dota before. If um, the one that wields two long blades like that, he only uses one. But again, let's go back. Okay, chain combo, Panther's Prowl. Um, it's Panther disappeared, but uh, he has a Panther, by the way. Um, normal state. This is going to be more on him gaining energy. So two, eight, and thirteen. So this is going to gain him 3, 4, and 5. And um, the damage increases as well from 160 to 180 up uh, on the 13th chain combo. And the damage also gets bigger. As you can see here. So normal state generation of lone energy. More on little damages. But in the lone state, as you can see, damage increases tremendously from 170 no 190 170 190 and 210 and also the area increases as well so again he's built for tight tight um if you have enemies in a tight group he's really going to shine with that one um really built for tremendous melee damage uh, multiple enemies big enemies included so four tile bosses if they're they are a bunch and if they're bunching up then that is going to be more beneficial for him for his fighting style earlier i mentioned is he hero's replacement at this point um only number one take note if you don't have hero then definitely he's going to be your primary detonator out of the rest Number two, he's going to be um, your um, your primary uh, detonator only if you are looking for more DPS, especially for large mob. So those are the only two reasons why you should choose him over um, over hero. The rest of overall hero is still the best utility conversion damage. Um, range damage in, in a way because he gets she gets to place tiles that deal x damage and i personally would think that hero would fit almost all of the stages that you bring him he could fit well as your secondary detonator that is why Arya step aside um yao step aside lenore step aside he is going to definitely be your secondary um secondary detonator so again very powerful and let's see how he does in actual combat okay before we go to the actual combat um let's go through your ideal forest formation uh if you want more bang for your buck this is going to be it uh, it's still going to be Hero here, then Barton here. Lenore, I slotted her here because if you wanted additional damage, again, Lenore is also handy in terms of dealing um, um, far away damage and tons of damage as well. Um, the three of them will really wreak havoc. But um, if you don't want to carry Lenore and if you don't have her, um, let me just go to... Luis can be good because of times two for chain combo. Um, Arya, Arya might be might be obsolete already. There, there, there will come a time that she will be obsolete. But I think she is already because of Barton. So also Midgard is also an option there as an additional sniper. Um, but yes, so if you need the healer, of course you need. Uh, Uriah there so ideal team and let's go to a little bit of um, action for Spire Spire level 60 is this it yeah, green right Emerald Spire I challenge this one so this is the team that we're gonna be bringing so Barton um, as initial hero as uh, secondary so that we can um i'm trying to get the uh, hero's spelling correct name <laughs> might, i might uh botch it up okay so double i for hero sorry 
Okay, so this is the team that I'm bringing. So two converters, one healer to clear the stage. So let's uh, try this out. Um, I already had a run for this stage. Um, I think it's going to be perfect uh, for enemies that are bunched up, especially if it's going to be in waves. Waves are going to be perfect for this guy, for Barton Deathblades. I can't express, you know, uh, my disbelief in how much damage he he did. And um, hopefully if this loads quicker, then we can play um, this game. And uh, okay, so here we are. So as you can see here, we, uh, this is going to be three waves. I'm not going to finish all three waves. I'm just going to take this um i'm just gonna show an example on how big of a damage he has so let's do some tile conversions first and let's see where we could attack the enemy probably gonna be doing this up until uh wave two later so there you go okay then hero for additional tiles Hero's tile conversion is actually pretty much OP in my opinion for the value that she brings. She really complements um, Barton as well. So let's, uh, we're gonna put this here. Um, okay, I'm just gonna put this here and here. So I wanna show you guys how far his reach is how terrific his damage is and as you can see here you can use it because it's a 20 ready at the start that is why you need to break through three this guy no matter what okay so we're just doing this let's take a look how big of a of a Bang, 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 bang. Again, if you could, oh my god, 16,000 times three. Did you see that for a chain combo? So, again, one only one pass for wave one, then they're done. So, let's try to just ease this out and see how he does solo. Okay. See how big of a damage he does. Ow. Again, again if if enemies are bunched up, this would be crazy 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 good in terms of damage. So hopefully we could see um enemies bunched up in a while. I'm just going to be doing this See there, see there. See the rage. So gonna have to, to go through that mother who is keep on laying eggs here. So let's pass through them both and let's see. Anchor is hero. What an anchor. Can't reach that far. Definitely, he is really one of your best detonators. And one I think that you should invest in right now. Especially if you're done. If you don't have plans of finishing off Reinhardt. And if you're content with her being at uh, Breakthrough 3 as well. You might as well invest on this guy. If you really need another detonator for your... For your forest team. So that's it. Just want to demo how much damage he does and how terrific the damage looks. So that is it, guys. So I'll give you my final thoughts in a while. Okay, so uh, what do I think of this guy? He's a must get. Once you're done with Reinhardt, definitely you have to get him. When I say done with Reinhardt, is if you've got Reinhardt at 
max break to three definitely um if if you have a lot then go for the full right heart if you don't have a lot then go for this guy what what, what i mean a lot is um summoning currency um he's definitely one to go for especially if you don't have a primary detonator right now for forest and he's going to replace all of your secondary detonators, definitely. He doesn't replace Hero right now, but in terms of DPS, he is going to be your primary detonator if you need DPS only. Okay, so again, thank you guys for staying this far. So if you're still here, please support my channel. This will help me a lot. This will help my channel a lot. And this will help the channel grow a lot. Take care, stay safe. This is The Warded. Happy weekend and I'm out of here.